boys. Whoa. Freaking. I'm just in a swamp. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, back in New Zealand. I'm here for the raw. I came and did a bit of recon on this property on one night before I left last time. The farmer owns all this land down here into the river and then it actually backs up onto some dock land up the back there. So for the start, I'm just going to focus down here. I ran into some on the night I checked it. It just funneled out of that bush. So I'm just going to sit down here tonight, see if I can hear anything. And then I'm going to go pick up my girlfriend tomorrow night. So I'll get a hunt this morning, hunt tomorrow night, pick her up, and then go and bring back some camping stuff. I'm going to go hit the mountains. You. Bit of sign there, I might mark this tree. So the river's just down here. I'm just walking on the game trail, but um, it's as high as my head, and he's smacking it, so it's a nice size deer. Nice wallow here, the river's just there, so that's pretty good. First little Arvo investigation. This, this game trail is running through here, and then yeah, up there I got the rub tree. Little wallow marked out of my map. I'm just gonna keep following it along, and then as it gets a bit darker here, I'm gonna go sit up a bit higher and just glass and see what I can see is going on on the hill. Best thing about New Zealand, New Zealand rut, berries are on at the same time. How's this? It's full blackberries everywhere. And this is just the thoroughfare. So, pretty frothing. Like I said, I've just got here, but that's pretty sick. I already know a little spot I can just kind of sit in here and sit here on dark. It's a good chance someone's gonna walk through there. Anyway, I missed a couple up here last time. Just on darts, I'm gonna try and go over there, see if I can sit down, get, the wind's shitty at the moment, I'm just trying to get down so that I can cross the river and work back against the wind, but yes, pretty frothing. Another huge wallow with a game trail. It's pretty murked up that one from maybe last night. Not murked up. Heap of footprints around that one, so maybe that one got used last night. But it's funny because that's where I saw them last time. They dropped down this gully over here, and then I got behind them, and then they crossed and came this way. So interesting. Just gonna drop a pin on this one too.
Jonathan has me fucking stags. I do you <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty lucky. So it's a bit of my my bad on that one too. There's a fence just here and that's the end of the land I'm allowed on and that's the neighbour and so he's he was calling like a hundred meters the other side of the fence and I saw two deer run through this way. So I was sitting here and heard it roar and I didn't see the farmer before when I got here. He's like, just take the bike. And I had it, like the land dotted out, but yeah, um, there's dock land here. But that guy said he owns that one little finger there up to the dock land. So yeah, I don't know, it's good. No one got hurt, but um, yeah, pretty pretty wild to um, yeah come around the corner. I thought the roar was coming a bit further away, but that's, he was he was roaring backwards, obviously. And, um, yeah, I saw him, he didn't see me, and I had to, like, safety wave. Um, I, was, I was just about to do a doe call, too. I'm so glad I didn't, but, yeah. Big 243 with a silencer on it in the face would have been a good start to the trip. Anyway, excitement on the first two hours of hunting. So I'm just going to sit here. He said they should kick off soon. He said there was a day last week where they just went nuts, and he had his kids, he couldn't come out. Um, but yeah, he said the last two days have been pretty quiet. Unbelievable. Just came across the creek and just bumped the deer right there at the end of the day. I've seen this fully just laying in the blackberry bushes. Anyway, day one down, across this river and head home. Paradise geese. That's one thing you don't want to bump in New Zealand. Tell everyone you're here. Oh my god, he's going. 